What is going on guys? Bruin Steel here. Welcome back to another WWE broadcast. I'm Bruin Steel and this is Canadian Yorker and we are here to do our 2024 SummerSlam prediction for this pay-per-view. I can't wait. It's Saturday, August 3rd. If you haven't checked it out, it's going to be on Peacock. Um, so yeah, we are here with our SummerSlam predictions and I gotta say this is probably going to be the greatest SummerSlam this year. I can't wait. I love SummerSlam. We got some great matches. Um, and it's taking place in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, so I can't wait. Canadian Yorker, how's it going? I'm doing great today. Uh, can't complain. There's a lot of great excitement going on. And, uh, you know, can't wait to see what's going to happen at, at SummerSlam. All right, so let's get it started. So how it works is that I'm just going to read out the matches and Canadian Yorker is going to share his predictions first, followed up by my prediction. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of great matches. Um, there were some matches that were eh for me, but I'm just going to go down the line since I don't know which match is going to be starting first. So let's get started. So... The first match is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, Damon Priest defending the World Heavyweight Championship against Gunther. Um, singles match for the World Heavyweight Championship. We got Damon Priest defending it against Gunther. So it's going to be, like I said before, oh, okay. I am excited for this match. It's going to be hard hitting. I don't think we ever seen Gunther versus Damon Priest. Two just big, huge guys going at it. Um, but yeah, that will do it. Um, so I'm going to give the floor to you, Canadian Yorker. Um, what are your thoughts on this match, and what is your final prediction? Who do you think is going to win? Oh, man. They're they coming out with banging right from the start. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Um, I'm, just going, I'm just going down the list, whatever, <laughs> which, the, 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 whatever is number one to whoever. I don't know which one. So I'm just going down the list, man. <laughs> damn, damn. So, yeah, Damon, it, Priest, it, uh, Damon Priest and Gunther. Predict what's your predictions? And, yeah, this is a tough, tough win. I mean, wow, Damian Priest versus Gunther. It's 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 been under consideration. Um, Damian Priest is a tough guy. Uh, he knows how to to take out his opponents. Um, he can definitely work his way around the ring. Gunther is a very technical wrestler. Um, I just can't see Gunther losing to Damian Priest. Um, but Damian Priest, I mean, could get assistance from Judgment Day possibly. Um, but at the same time, that could backfire on him. They can help him to win or help him to lose. Um, man. I, I, you know what? I'm just, I, 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 I think that, that Gunther is going to win it. Gunther is going to be Damian Priest and get the championship, the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, because I, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a toss up. I know it's a toss up, but I think that Gunther is, is the better wrestler. Um, and Damian Priest's last few defenses have been, I mean, he he can he can defend it himself, but at the same time, he won the help from from people, you know, from from CM Punk, and I just I just think Gunther has the better record and the better the better uh, know how, so I can definitely see Gunther getting the championship, and that's my my pick. I'm locking in. All right, so you're locking in Gunther to win the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm more often than Gunther because because of his resume and record, you know he just had better title defenses, you know, and that's what I'm that's what I'm going with. All right, so this is my thought. So this is a little tough because you never know because it either can go either way. It could be Damon Priest or Gunther, but the thing is, people are saying, yeah. "Oh, Gunther is probably gonna win since he's like maybe like the best." Um, but then Damon Priest, if you think about it, look thing is like i my original pick was gunther let me get this straight i my originally my original pick was gunther but if i if you think about it damon priest could possibly win if you think about it yes there's probably a chance that damon priest might lose the title but if you think about it 
If um, Damon Priest could beat Gunther, you never know. I just feel like it might be a little too early for him to drop the title. Um, but with the thing with the Judgment Day, people are like, oh, Damon Priest is going to lose the title to Gunther and get kicked out by, um, people are saying Finn Balor might possibly come out and cost Damon Priest the title. Um, but you never know. But the thing is that, um, there's definitely going to be a feud. Um, let's get this out of the way though. Damon Priest, he's getting kicked out of Judgment Day either way. If he wins against Gunther or if he doesn't. That's why I said, guys, yes. Damon Priest, if he retains... He's still getting kicked out either way. So if Damon Priest did lose to Gunther, yes, he's getting kicked out of the Judgment Day. But if he wins, I feel like it's just going to be the same. I think either way, if he wins or lose, he's still getting kicked out of Judgment Day regardless. Um, so that's my first prediction. I think he's just going to get kicked out either way. Um, thing is, I think, yeah, Damon Priest is going to get kicked out. And then Finn Balor is just going to attack or whatever, pretend to be Damon Priest's friend. And then... Um, they're going to beat down uh, Damon Priest after the match or something like that. And then I feel like I feel like if Damon Priest does win, that title is going to be in that um, feud. Damon Priest versus Finn Balor. They're going to fight for the world title. That could be a possibility. Um, but then you see Damon Priest telling Seth Rollins, Oh, put that gentleman's agreement out of the door. Um, you don't have to worry. After I'm done with Gunther, you can fight me. Um, but I'm not sure. But look, I just feel like the best thing to do is have Finn Balor and Damon Priest fight over the world title. I mean, that could be an option. Um, but look, this is a risky pick for me. <laughs> so I picked Gunther. Um, but I'm just going to go with the risky pick. I think I might be wrong. I might be... Out of my mind, I might, might be on drugs, but I think what's going to happen is I'm locking my pick in. This is what I'm going to do. I'm making a risky pick right here. I'm locking my pick in. I am picking Damon Priest to beat Gunther to retain the world title. So this is what's going to happen. Damon Priest is going to beat Gunther, and then I think he gets kicked out of the Judgment Day. I think Finn Balor tries to help him retain, and... Eh. Um, but then churn, and then Finn Balor is going to churn on Damon Priest, setting up a feud between Finn Balor and Damon Priest in the future. They're just going to feud over the world title. So that's what I think is going to happen. Um, it's risky, but I think, I just feel like that could happen right there. And Gunther, I mean, Gunther doesn't need another title run. I just feel like he already had a historic title run with the ETH. Uh, he already had a, a title run with the IC Championship. I just don't think people want Gun to see Gunther have a title run with a world title. And I'm just saying, if Gunther wins, he's probably going to have a long-ass reign again. <laughs> um, so um, I'm locking my pick in. It's a risky pick. I am picking Damon Priest to beat Gunther to retain the championship. Hmm. That is a risky pick. And I, I agree with you. If Damon Priest is damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. Because if he wins, he's going to get the trade. If he doesn't win, he's still going to get the trade. And it makes sense that, yes, if Damian Priest, I think, here's the because thing. Because the thing it's, is here, here think pause. about it, though. Think about it, though. Yeah. Liv Morgan, she's going to have the world title. Um, Finn Balor and, um, well, Finn Balor and JD, they're already going to have the tag team titles. Um, Finn Balor probably going to be the leader of the group. He's going to be eyeing Damon Priest's world title. So if Damon Priest still has the title in him, Finn Balor is going to be eyeing it after portraying. They're going to set up that feud for the world title. Imagine if Finn wins it from Damon Priest. Judgment Day is just back where they are before instead of Damon Priest holding the world title and, um, well, the briefcase, the, well, whatever. You're going to have Finn Balor with two championships. That could happen, so... Yeah, that could happen, and it, it would also it would also the reason why the reason why Finn Balor would be would be attacking uh, Damian Priest is because Damian Priest gave Seth Rollins another title shot, and we know that Seth Rollins and Damian and and, and and Finn Balor have no love lost between each other. They obviously don't like each other a lot because Seth Rollins definitely screwed over Finn Balor in the past. And so Finn Balor is getting back at Seth Rollins. I mean, if Seth Rollins has his title shot with Damian Priest, and then Damian Priest um, beats Seth, but then and then but 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 uh, but Finn Balor is upset about that because because he gave him another title shot. Of course, of course, Finn Balor is going to go after Damian Priest. I mean, 
could Damian Priest screwed Finn Balor out of his out of his chance to win his championship too. I mean, it makes sense, you know. But this it is a risky pick going forward. So I mean, yeah, let's I, see what's gonna I happen. Got some, I got some risky picks in this pay per view, so I might be on drugs. I might be right. I might just get one hundred percent lucky, and I might be right about Damian Priest. But I feel like um, if Damon Priest was to get kicked out, I think they're just going to feed over the world title because um, because Liv Morgan, yeah, it's quite obvious Liv Morgan's in Judgment Day, kind of, I don't know. Um, but if, if, if it's quite it's quite obvious that they want the men's world title in their group. So, And I don't see them feuding with Gunther if Gunther does win. I feel like Damon is the guy to feud with. So I am picking Damon Priest to win. Um, so yeah, I got Damon Priest. I feel like it's kind of a still risky pick, but eh. And then Canadian Yorker picked Gunther. All right, so that would do it for the World Heavyweight Championship on the men's side. All right, let's move on down the list. We got the WWE Women's Championship singles match. Um, we got Bailey defending that title against Nia Jax. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> um, so this is going to be an interesting match. Um, people are like, oh, Nia Jax. I think I said before saying that, oh, Nia Jax is going to beat Bailey, but we have to see if that's true. Um, but singles match for the WWE Women's Championship. Bailey and Nia Jax. Bailey defending it against Nia Jax. Canadian Yorker, you got the floor. What are your thoughts and what is your final prediction? I already know who you're going to choose, so. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know who I'm gonna choose. I, I, I had it in my head before I even say it. Let me say this: Bailey is not Rhea Ripley. Bailey is very, Bailey, Bailey has been playing mind games with Nia Jax. Bailey has been getting in her head and throwing her off her game. Um, um, Nia Jax, you know, she's she's imposing. She's an imposing wrestler, female wrestler. She knows how to work the ropes. Um, but I don't think that Nia Jax is going to win against Bailey. But I do think she's gonna. She's definitely going to give Bailey a lot of trouble because you know she is a tough wrestler to wrestle against. And Nia Jax, Bailey. I mean, sorry, Rhea Ripley, barely escaped. Bailey barely escaped winning against her because Nia Jax was giving was giving Rhea Ripley problems in the ring. A lot of problems in the ring. I mean, every single time. She was giving her a lot of problems, and so uh, Nia, Rhea Ripley definitely had to put up a massive fight against Nia Jax in order to win. I mean, it, when it comes to the very opening segment of the, probably the first five minutes of the round, Nia Jax will win, um, hands down. If she gets her hands on Bailey, it's game over because she can put the hurting on her and take her out, I mean, win in the shortest way possible fashion ever. Um, that could definitely happen. Bailey can lose. Um, but I think Bailey probably has a plan up the sleeve to get at Nia Jax. So it's just kind of, I think this is a, it's, it's sort of a risky pick, but I do believe Bailey is going to come out on top, despite the fact that Nia Jax is going to give her massive problems. So uh, I definitely think I'm picking lucky my pick for Bailey when uh the one retain her championship hello so as i was saying my my pick is is bailey to retain a championship oh boy. but there's the x factor the x factor your girl tiffany stratton probably is going to cash in her her, her money in the bank contract and win it at SummerSlam. So Bailey's probably going to lose her championship either way um, going forward. So if that's a possibility, but I definitely see Bailey's going to be retaining a championship. So that's what I got. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. So you're locking in Bailey? I'm locking in Bailey. All right. So for me, I think a lot of people said that, oh, Nia Jax is going to beat Bailey, but this is what I think is going to happen. I think, I just don't think Tiffany is going to, I think Tiffany is going to run interference. I just feel like Tiffany is going to try to help Nia Jax win, but I think that's just going to backfire on her. Um, but I just don't think this is the time for Tiffany to cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase. I think it's a little too early. You know, people take time. Um, they have to make the best uh, they have to make their best decision. They have to make 
Um, they have to time it perfectly. They just can't risk it. Um, but I just feel like um, Tiffany is going to try to help Nia Jax win the championship, but it's going to get backfired. Um, I think that back. I think that plan is going to haunt her. I think um, Bailey would overcome that interference and retain the title. So um, I originally was going to pick Nia, but I feel like um, Bailey is going to retain the title. Um, I think that Nia Jax might yell at Tiffany for costing him the, the, the title. I think later on, I think later on will be a better time. I think at some point, um, Tiffany is going to cash on, cash her briefcase on, um, Bailey. And then I think, um, Nia Jax is just going to get jealous. And then Nia is just going to turn on Tiffany. Tiffany is going to turn face. That's going to set up a feud between Nia Jax and Tiffany throughout the future for the title. So that's why I feel like this is going to happen. Um, so I'm locking my pick in. Um, I am picking Bailey to defeat Nia Jax. Yeah. All right. I, I, here's the thing, though. Nia Jax can win within the first few seconds of the round. That's where that's when Nia is so dangerous. Bailey has to do something. Bailey has to have a strategy where she has to tire Nia Jax out. This is literally like Muhammad Ali versus George Foreman type of match right here okay you have muhammad ali being bailey you got george foreman being uh nia jax nia jax is bigger stronger um she's not as quick but she's big and strong and with her with her with her weight and her allow nia jax for her so Oh boy, here lagging a lot. Um, yeah, it's my internet's a little spot spotty right now. But let's continue. All right, so um, yeah, so we both locked in Bailey. All right, so moving on to the next match, we got the singles match for the women's world championship. So this is gonna get interesting. So we got Liv Morgan defending the world title against Rhea Ripley. Um, oh boy. So this is going to end up in chaos. <laughs> um, so um, so singles match for the Women's World Championship. Liv Morgan defending it against Rhea Ripley. Um, Canadian Yorker, you got the floor on this one first. Like always, um, what are your thoughts and what is your prediction? Oh man, this could, this could go either way. This match is so unpredictable. Um... It, it, it can literally go either way with Rip Morgan winning, with Rhea Rip winning. I uh, I think this is kind of tough because Rhea Ripley, we still don't know the extent of her condition. I believe her shoulder. It looks like her shoulder is completely healed up, right? Because she gets, she was injured three months ago. Now she's back. She's maybe she's out of rehab. She didn't have a surgery for the for the shoulder, so. What is the extent of that? Is, is, is Liv Morgan going to attack that shoulder again and try to re-injure the shoulder? I mean, honestly, I think Liv Morgan is going to use that as a, as a, as a, as a point of attack and attack her shoulder um, because Rhea Ripley definitely will want to get her hands on Liv Morgan. Um, <laughs> honestly, you know, and, and, and Dominic... Mysterio, he's like X, the X Factor. Is he going to be the one? Is, is he going to be betraying um, Rhea Ripley? Is he going to be helping Rhea Ripley against Liv Morgan? Honestly, we don't know that. But I think, man, this is, this is a toss up again. Another toss up match. Um, it's a tough, it's a tough one to to, to kind of decide. Um, I think Liv Morgan may lose to Rhea Ripley at SummerSlam. I think it may happen, um, but it's such a it's such a tough thing to decide. Uh, I think Liv Morgan is definitely definitely wants Rhea Ripley, so oh, it's a tough one to decide. I believe Liv Morgan might retain a championship at SummerSlam. Um, but it won't be because Dominic Mysterio wins it. Uh, it helps her. Dominic probably will be the deciding factor that might help her to win her championship. Let me say the Hainer championship. Um, but if if 
if if if Rhea Ripley actually gets her championship back without the Judgment Day, good as new, you know. But I think that Liv Morgan is going to be retaining her championship at SummerSlam. That's why I'm locking my pick in. It's such a toss up. It's a, it's a tough it's a tough choice to make, but I think she's going to be definitely retaining a championship and uh, de- delivering Rhea her first loss. So that's what I think. I'm, I'm locking it in. Right. You're locking in Liv Morgan? I'm locking it in Liv. All right. So for me, hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's tough. Like, it's like, but the thing is, like, you guys have to remember Rhea Ripley is not a tweeter or a heel. She's a baby face where both of the Judgment Days a heel or a tweeter. <laughs> um, so this is the thing. With, this is what I think is going to happen. I think Rhea Ripley will put up a fight. Um, I just feel like Dominic is going to, I feel like Dom definitely is going to come out. People making jokes saying that Dominic's special referee. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, I feel like Dom is going to come out. I think, yeah, after all I saw, that, I'm sorry, Liv, but I mean, that was a great um, Oscar award pretending to be sad when Dominic Mysterio said, I hate you. I mean, Dominic, man, that's some great acting all, but we all know that's the part of the plan is to portray Ray, Rhea Ripley. I just feel like that's just going to happen. I think Dom is going to help. I think Dom is just going to pretend to help Rhea Ripley, but she's actually helping Liv. I think later on, I think at the end of the match, I think Dom um, secretly works with Liv. I think he pretends to help Rhea, but then causes Rhea Ripley the title. And then just joins um, Liv Morgan um, betraying Rhea Ripley at the end. So uh, we might even see uh, Rhea Ripley get kicked out of Judgment Day right here, right after the match. Um, I feel like that's going to happen with the Damon Priest and Goozer. Damon Priest gets kicked out after the match. Rhea Ripley could possibly get kicked out. We can have Liv Morgan attacking... um, We can have Liv Morgan attacking... Rhea Ripley with Dominic laughing and watching so um that could happen but I am locking my pick in um I just I mean I don't know if I would say it could go either way I just don't see Rhea Ripley winning I mean if Rhea Ripley wins I don't know I mean but I'm locking my pick in I think Liv Morgan defeats Rhea Ripley to retain the woman's world title with the help of Dominic so I think Rhea Ripley gets betrayed by Dominic um, Dominic betrays um, Rhea Ripley. That makes that will turn Liv Morgan into a heel. Um, so I'm looking my pick in Liv Morgan. Oh. Oh, you you're going with Liv Morgan. Yes. But 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 here's the thing though. I I believe Dominic is an X factor. Dominic could could help Rhea, Rhea Ripley win against Liv Morgan. Could I say could possibly even though. He says that oh he hates her all that stuff. Um, yes, Liv could could have played it off uh, to play it off to fool everybody to make people believe oh she's really sad. Um, and and let's just be honest. Um, if somebody did that to someone else, you know it it they could play it to make it to make to fool people to make them look like they're sad when when in reality it's all going according to plan. So it's it's a I feel like this match is a toss-up, just like the Gunther versus da- Damian Priest. We can see Damian Priest get betrayed and, and kicked out the Judgment Day. We can also see Rhea Ripley get kicked out the Judgment Day. It can happen in the same night on SummerSlam. It can happen the same day, same night. Both of them get kicked out. Dominic kicks out Rhea. Um, sorry, we love kicks out Rhea. Uh, Finn Balor kicks out kicks out Damian Priest. And so we'll have to see what's going to happen going forward. We could see a Judgment Day Civil War happening, um, but we'll have to see what happens. All right. So uh, moving on to the next match. I'm actually going to save this match for the um, the last match because I think it's going to be the main event. You guys know what it is. Um, so moving on to the next match, we got the singles match. This is your favorite match, Gene. <laughs> Um, we got the singles match for the WWE United States Championship. Um, we got Logan Paul defending the United States Championship against um, LA Knight. Um, Logan Paul defending the title in his hometown of Cleveland. 
um, singles match. Um, this was the match people expected. So LA Knight and Logan Paul um, fighting for the United States Championship. You got the floor, Canadian Yorker. What are your thoughts and what's your prediction? Does anybody see this? Does anybody see this right here? I'm holding in my hand. This is the flag of our country, everybody. This is the flag of the USA, the USA Championship, okay? Logan Paul, does anyone really think that Logan Paul represents the flag of the USA? And we have, we have people playing in the Olympics right now. Does anyone really think that Logan Paul only cares about the prestige and the, the championship of the USA? Obviously not. He does not care. He only he is only using it as a as a brand to help his business. He's a, he's he is he is he would not be the person who he is today if he didn't if he if he was not the United States champion. And so Logan Paul does not deserve another chance. United States champion. He deserves to lose his championship to LA Knight. I believe LA Knight is a perfect person to definitely take on the challenge and be the next United States champion. So I'm going to be calling Logan Paul to lose his championship to LA Knight at SummerSlam in Cleveland, Ohio, in front of millions of his fans and lose in embarrassing fashion. Okay, he's, he's definitely going to have help. He's going to have help. His KSI will be there to help him. Um, he has his little minions there to help him. He's going to have people that are going to help him get his brass knuckles so he can knock out LA Knight. Okay, so LA Knight needs to wash his back and... and Make sure that doesn't happen to him. So I'm, t I'm definitely picking Logan Paul uh, every night to win against Logan Paul in Cleveland, Ohio, in some, uh, you know, in SummerSlam. Uh, yeah, I'm picking. I'm locking my pick in. So you're locking pick. Uh, you're locking um, LA Knight. LA Knight. LA Knight for the USA Championship, baby. For the USA Championship. I'm locking it in. All right. Um, for me. Um, yeah, it's in Logan Paul's hometown, but I just feel like there's no factor because anyone can win, anyone can lose in their own hometown, like Sami they did against Roman, uh, like, I mean, that's just, something could happen, I mean, like, you never know what's gonna happen, um, but this is what I feel like is gonna happen, so this is gonna be the first time Logan Paul faces LA Knight, um, I just feel like LA Knight, I mean, it's just that, like, I feel like um, Logan Paul is going to, like, do something. I don't know what he's going to do. He's definitely going to find a way to win or something. But I feel like... What's he? I feel like... I feel like LA Knight and Logan Paul, this is not their only feud. I think there's going to be multiple feuds. Um, but this is what I think. Um, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like Logan Paul is going to win round one. And then I feel like they're going to have a rematch in the future. And then I think LA Knight wins that rematch. Um, you never know. So, but it's a risky pick. This is another risky pick um, for me. Um, but I just feel like Logan Paul winning in his hometown is something that could happen. Um, plus, I think LA Knight, what's going to happen is Logan Paul is going to find a way to win. And then LA Knight's going to complain to like Adam Pearce or Nick Aldis. And then they're going to set up a rematch. And then I think that rematch, LA Knight could win. Um, so right now I'm making a risky pick. I think they're going to have multiple feuds in the future. I think this is the first start of the feud. Um, I think Logan Paul somehow way, somehow beats LA Knight in some weird way and retains the United States champion. So yeah, I'm making a risky pick. I'm um, locking in Logan Paul to retain the U.S. title. Um, but I feel like LA Knight's going to complain. I feel like they're going to set a rematch in the future. So I'm going to... Um, locking my pick and say Logan Paul retains. Hey. So, yeah, I do believe that Logan Paul is definitely going to pull some shenanigans and get his win. That's going to happen. We, let's just let's admit that. It's going to happen. Um, He's, it's going to happen. He's going to have somebody under the ring to come out from under the ring and hand them brass knuckles and knock out LA Knight. And that's his, that's his, that's his specialty, just trying to fool people to think he's a legitimate champion, but he's not. So remember, everybody, boycott Logan Paul. 
All right, so that would do it. Um, so moving on to the next match, we got round two. We got singles match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. We got Sami Zayn once again defending it against a Braun Breaker, a hungry Braun Breaker. Um, so this is gonna be interesting. Um, I don't know. It's it's gonna be crazy. Um, you got the fork, Nate Yorker. What is your thoughts and your predictions? Man, when. Sane versus Breaker 2. I don't know, man. It feels, it's like a tough choice. It's not that tough. Um, I think if Sami Zayn pulls off another win against Braun Breaker, that would make it really interesting. Um, Because he beat, he not only beat him once, he beat him twice. And then, you know, we would have to see where Braun Breaker is going to take his career next. Um, I definitely think that Braun Breaker... It's going to be taking the championship from Sami Zayn. And uh, it's definitely going to happen. Because Draco wants it more. And Sami Zayn has to fight for his life in order to get the win. But Sami Zayn definitely can just pull up and up, pull off. He pull a falling off and upset out of nowhere. Like he did at WrestleMania. And it's, tough. it's kind of a... A tough choice. Sami Zayn has definitely represented himself as a legitimate champion. He is representing himself as a legitimate champion. He's not backing down from nobody. So if he picks up a win against Breaker, I definitely think that's really interesting. Um, but I think Breaker is going to be taking this one, uh, this matchup. He's he's, he's going to be winning this, taking a championship from Sami. So I'm taking it. I'm locking in my pick for Breaker to be taking a championship from Sammy at SummerSlam. All right, so this is going to be interesting. So, look, I just feel like, yeah, Brawl Breaker, he, yeah, he is favorite to probably win this time. I mean, people are saying Sammy got lucky the first time at Money in the Bank. Um, you know, Braun Breaker is strong, but the thing is, if Braun Breaker wins the IC Championship, who's stopping him? Like, this guy has been on a rampage ever since he came to Monday Night Raw. I mean, ever since he got called up to the main roster, this man's a beast. Like, if Braun Breaker, um, wins, who's gonna stop this man? Who's gonna take the IC title from Braun Breaker? Um, people saying that, oh, um, maybe Gunther, but I don't think Gunther's gonna have another shot at the IC title. Um, but people are saying that, oh, maybe give Dragon off a shot or something. Um, but we have to see what happens. Um, but look, Sami Zayn, I mean, he could get lucky and beat Braun Breaker, but I just feel like SummerSlam, one of the biggest pay-per-views of the summer, I just don't see it happening. Right, you beat Braun Breaker, but this guy is just on another level. And look, this is what I think is going to happen. This is off topic, but obviously you see Alpha Academy struggling and you've seen, you know, Sami Zayn as like a mentor to them, like to Maxine, Tazawa, and Otis, right? So I think that Sami Zayn will drop the title to Braun Breaker and I think Sami Zayn will join Alpha Academy. I think Sami Zayn is the best person of interest that they can, he can lead. I think Sami Zayn is good enough to lead Tazawa, Otis, and Maxine. So I think Sami might end up joining um, Alpha Academy and we have to see, I mean, Sammy could retain and still do that and then maybe Chad will get his, another shot at Sammy, but I feel like Sammy could lose, just lose the IC title and just join Alpha Academy because so far Sammy Zane has been the mentor ever since Chad Gable left that group. So that's just my own thought. So um, Sammy Zane, I appreciate everything you've done for the IC title. People are saying that, oh, it should have been Chad. But I just feel like in the biggest pay-per-view, the biggest pay-per-view of the summer, I just feel like Braun Breaker is going to get that. So unfortunately, look, we got lucky picking Sami Zayn last time. Um, so I just feel like Braun Breaker is taking it this time. So I'm locking my pick in. I am picking Braun Breaker to defeat Sami Zayn. Um, but question is, who's going to beat Braun Breaker? That's going to be tough. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think... I think Sammy, Sammy's like the miracle child. If anyone can pull off a miracle win, I mean, the first one, the first time was, was, was like, it wasn't luck. It was just a miracle. The second time, it's not a miracle. I mean, it proves that Sammy Zayn can beat anybody, you know, without, without help. He can definitely wrestle. He knows his way around the corner. He would have beaten Roman Reigns and become the next WWE champion. 
he has it. He can definitely do it. Um, he can definitely challenge Cody for the championship, you know. But the thing is, it's not his time yet. So we're going to have to see how things go with Sammy going forward. And I could definitely see Sammy being in the mentor role, be, you know, taking on um, Alpha Academy under his wing. And he joins Alpha Academy. That makes sense. Um, and Chad Gable can get a shot. Chad Gable is another person that could beat Sammy for the title. So we'll have to see what goes, what happens going forward or, with Sammy. Or Sammy could just beat Braun Breaker and take the title with him being a mentor. And then Chad's going to get in his face. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like Chad's going to be done with the IC title. So I think it makes sense for Sammy to drop his brawn and then just start something new with Alpha Academy. I feel like that's the path for Sammy right now. Yeah, and another thing, Sammy, Sammy could get himself mixed up in the bloodline business again because Kevin Owens is his friend. And so Sammy Zayn, definitely, you could see Sammy Zayn getting involved in the bloodline business because... Sammy is, you know, attached with Jay and Roman Ains might make a People are saying that they're going to probably bring Sammy back to the bloodline in that blood, bloodline civil war. <laughs> yeah, so see what happens. All right, so <laughs> we are both picking Braun Breaker. So, yeah, we got two more matches. Oh, boy, this is a long video. Um, so hopefully we get through it fast. Um, the next, We got two more matches. All right, it's going to get intense. The next match, we got a singles match. We got CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre. Finally, we got these two warriors colliding. Um, but there's a twist. Seth freaking Rollins will be the special guest referee for this match. So, wow. Um, three guys who hate each other, one being the referee. Um, Canadian Yorker, you got the floor. What are your thoughts and what's your prediction? And you saved the best for last. So, it's tough. But I'm break. I'm sorry. Um, Drew McIntyre and CM Punk, both of them fighting for both what for what they believe in. It's tough. Uh, Seth Rollins is the X factor here. <laughs> Seth Rollins. I don't know what Seth Rollins is gonna do. Seth, Seth, Seth Rollins could give the match to CM Punk or to Drew McIntyre. Um, I can definitely see Drew McIntyre getting the win over Seth CM Punk because CM Punk screwed Drew McIntyre three times, two times already, and he and he messed up Seth Rollins' suit. So, honestly, it, 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 that's an easy pick. That's an easy choice. That's an easy choice. Yeah. I mean, CM Punk, Seth Rollins gives a match to CM Punk. Honestly, I think that Drew McIntyre could be winning against CM Punk because... CM Punk screwed so many people over already, and that's pissed off a lot of people. So it makes sense that Drew McIntyre would be the one to win, to get this, to get his win against CM Punk, because he's been so obsessed with him for the past, what, two years now. So it's, oh, man, it's just a tough, it's tough. You know what, I'm just going to go with this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick with Drew McIntyre to get his win. At SummerSlam. Drew all the way. I've been with Drew all this time. I'm sticking with Drew. Oh, man. Um, so you're locking in Drew, right? <laughs> you're locking in Drew, right? I'm locking in Drew, yeah. All right. So this was probably, yeah, out of all of the picks, this was probably the toughest for me to choose. I was like, I don't know what to choose. So we all know this is just for me watching WWE throughout my whole life. So we all know what happens when there's special guest referee. The special guest referee gets accidentally taken out. Like if it's a special guest referee, there's chaos. There's like something and then it ends up being just a regular referee coming out after and due to count. So that could happen. I think Seth Rollins gets taken out um, by accident or something like that. I think Seth Rollins gets taken out by accident causing an actual referee to come from the back to referee the match. Um, so we've seen that happen how many times now? A lot, right? Yeah. A lot, um, many yeah. times. So many that, could, that could happen. Um, I just feel like... I just feel like Drew gets screwed too many times. I mean, imagine if he gets screwed in this match. <laughs> so um, oh, I, I just have. feel like... Yeah, this is tough because this is one of the toughest matches that I picked like I had trouble picking the thing is like the, the the issue I have is Seth Rollins hates CM Punk and you heard it himself Seth Rollins wants to break CM Punk's arm and he could do that in this match he said 
oh, once you're medically clear, I'm going to snap that arm of you. CM Punk, Seth Rollins can do whatever he wants as a referee. He could do that to CM Punk right here. Um, so, but then I feel like maybe, eh, I feel like maybe Drew or CM Punk can accidentally take out Seth and then causing another referee to come out. I think that might just happen. I just can't see Seth Rollins giving the victory to someone that he hates. Like, Seth Rollins hates Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. I don't think he's going to be doing the ping. I think he's <laughs> going to get accidentally taken out, causing another a real referee to come out. I think a real referee is going to make the count. Um, so, I just feel like, you know what? I'm just going to make it interesting. Um, I think that, yeah, Seth Rollins is not making the count. He hates Drew McIntyre and CM Punk too much. Um, I think he's going to get taken out accidentally by either Drew or CM Punk causing another a real referee to come out to make the count. I think, I just feel like Drew is going to get, I feel like, since this is Drew's and CM Punk's first match, I feel like there's going to be later matches. So this is what's going to happen. I think, hate me or not, I think Drew gets screwed once again. I think Drew gets screwed. Um, I am locking in my pick. So I think Drew gets screwed. I just think that CM Punk and Drew are going to face off against each other in something big later on. Um, but I'm locking my pick in. I say that maybe this might be a little bit of a risky pick, but I am locking in CM Punk to defeat Drew McIntyre. Wow, that is, that, that, it, I mean, it, it's so unpredictable. You don't know what's going to happen. It could definitely happen. Drew can lose. CM Punk could win. CM Punk could lose. CM Punk could be the one that gets screwed. I think, and I Drew think, can win. I think this, we can see I that think, happen. I think, um, I think CM Punk wins, and then that's when he takes his bracelet back off of Drew. Honestly. I mean, that can happen. Or oh, Drew could just give it back to him by dropping it on him. But we'll have to see what happens. All right, honestly. so I am uh, taking CM Punk in a really risky pick, I think. I don't even know. Drew could be risky, too. Uh, picking Drew too risky, like, anything can happen, like you said. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never know. Drew could finally get his revenge on CM Punk, beating him in the match. Yep. All right, so moving on to the final match. You said I saved the bet best for the last. Um, we got the singles match for the undisputed WWE Championship. We got Cody Rhodes defending the title against Sola Sokola. Um, this is going to be huge. Um, excuse me. This is going to be huge. Uh, singles match for undisputed WWE Championship. Cody Rhodes and Sola Sokola. Um, what are your thoughts, Kitty New Yorker, and what's your final prediction? So, this is kind of tough. Uh, because there's so many factors, just like Drew and CM Punk. There's so many things going on all at once that we don't know what's going to happen. It's so unpredictable. I saw an article, I read an article, was it today or this morning or yesterday, about something about Cody Rhodes being injured and Cody Rhodes saying he's going to give up his title. I don't know who wrote the article, but it just makes sense. Cody Rhodes could lose his title at SummerSlam because of an injury. Uh, I don't know if this, if, this, if, if this is true or not. I have to check the sources. But honestly, Cody could lose his title at SummerSlam. But he can also retain his title. But I don't know. It's just kind of a tough, a, a tough, tough choice to make. Because um, uh, Solo Sokoa has a pretty intimidating bloodline right here. And he doesn't have any, and Cody doesn't really have anyone that can help him to defend his title other than from some, un, from some unexpected sources uh, like Roman Reigns coming out and helping him win. Um, you know, Jay Uso coming out, Sami Zayn coming out, uh, the old Bloodline members coming out. It's just wild. Uh, I can see Solo winning. But if Solo wins, that will be monumental for Solo. It would be crazy if the Bloodline wins over Cody. Um, I think it's a risky pick to pick Dolo to win over Cody uh, because... Cody really hasn't had a, a major push thus far, so ah oh, man. 
this is tough. Uh, and I am not sure. Uh, would you would you would you want to go with your pick first? Because I I still haven't made up my mind. All right, so, so I'll go. Um, so this is my salt. So obviously Cody Rhodes is not going to get help from Randy and Kevin Owens since the bloodline destroyed them. Um, so basically what I think is going to happen, I think Cody Rhodes and Solo will do their thing, and then when Solo is going to be in trouble, Jake Fatu. Um, Tonga Tonga and Lola will come out and assist Solo, try to run interference, referee gets distracted, but I think this is what happens. I think Roman makes his, um, return. I think Roman makes his return during the match, not after, during. I said during the match. I think Roman comes out during the match and distract the bloodline. Paul Heyman returns with Jimmy Uso. So I think Jimmy Uso, um, Roman comes out together with Paul. Um, I'll be surprised if Jay comes out, but I just just gonna be I just feel like it's just gonna be Roman and Jimmy and Paul. I feel like that's gonna happen during the match, and I think they're gonna brawl with the I think they're gonna brawl with Jacob Fatu or whatever, and I think that's gonna cause Cody Rhodes to beat Solo Sokola. So I think that Roman's gonna come back and help um, Cody, which is risky. I don't know. I mean, if Roman doesn't return at all, that'd be like not right. That like he's got to return at SummerSlam. It has to be. Um, but we have to see what happens. But I feel like Roman's gonna come back and help since Randy and Kevin Owens can't come and aid Cody. I think they're gonna distract Solo in the bloodline, causing Cody Rhodes to get the win. So I'm locking my pick in. I'm picking Cody Rhodes to defeat Solo Sokola to retain the undisputed WWE Championship. I can see that happening. Um, here, here's something that happens, right? Suppose The Rock, I think The Rock's schedule has been freed up so he can come back to wrestling. And suppose The Rock himself comes out and helps the bloodline. Uh, um, so Cody helps. Cody, Cody is assisted by Roman. But The Rock comes out. The Rock helps Solo to win WWE Championship at SummerSlam, which would be wild. I mean, it would be crazy if that happens. Um, but here's the thing. I I get the idea that Cody can win. Um, but it's going to be a really tough for him, for him to win against four, against one. Um, but I think Cody's going to win regardless. Uh, I think Cody's gonna win because Cody probably may probably Cody will have something up his sleeve to help him because he knows the bloodline's gonna be there to help him fight against uh, you know that bloodline's gonna be there to help Solo win so Cody's gonna have backup so I think Cody's gonna win because he has he has he has people he still he still has people that's gonna ally with him to help him fight against the bloodline so. I'm picking my win in to be Cody. Cody's going to retain his championship. All right. So that will do it for our SummerSlam 2024 pay-per-view predictions. My name is Bruin Steele. This is Canadian Yorker. And we'll see you guys later. Be sure to check out Canadian Yorker's channel. And be sure to check out WWE Wrestling Bros. Both will be in the description of this video. Um, so we will see you for our um, reactions, our video that we do, our recap video for SummerSlam this weekend, hopefully. Um, so we'll see you next time. See you guys later. All right. Take care.